What's going on guys? This is Kazi. Welcome to another epic video. Today we're going to be creating a Sin City effect or a Sin City look. Uh, you can check it out like what I got going on over here. So we're going to build it from ground up. Um, there's tons of little technical things that you need to understand to achieve this sort of look. Now a look like that, you got to be very careful. You don't want to overuse it, but there's definitely time and place for it, specifically music videos and commercials. Um, you can also create this look and then dial back the colors from black and white to like just a hint of like a specific color and then still push tons of color to that one specific product that you're focusing on. So there's a bunch of different directions you can take once you know how to build this particular look. Now I get questions about the node tree and what different nodes do all the time. I have a one hour long training that covers all of that and then some link is down below. It's absolutely free. Do not forget to check it out. And then it's loaded with Q&A at the end and those questions came straight from you guys. So tons and tons of value. It's absolutely free. Link is down below. If you're enjoying the content, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Let's roll the intro. All right, let's jump into it. And I must say Sin City growing up was one of my favorite movies and a movie that inspired me and opened the doors for me to get into the world of color grading. So that's just the honest truth. First thing that I want to do is uh, pop open our image. And so let's see what's really going on. Let's check out the scopes. That's going to tell us the actual story. So the first thing that we notice when we look at this image is that it is pushed. I mean, look at this. This is the meat of the image. And then we got our highlights. And then this is just basically nothing. Everything is living in here and here. So it's a very, very pushed image. That's one thing that we need to realize. And when you think about Sin City, you, you just think like black and white with the pop of like one color, whether it's yellow or red. But the funny thing is that it's not white 100% because look at how much red is in there. So it has this like staircase sort of situation going on. And that's one thing that people don't realize that Sin City had that. So you can still create black and white, but throw your own flair on top. That's what we get from this. So. Let's go over to what we're working with right now. So this is my image and that's my hero frame. I'm going to be building my node tree and my grade off of this one frame. This particular shot is filmed with Alexa Mini LF. Same camera used on 1917 by Roger Deakins. It's mind blowing. I mean, this camera and what you get, the range you get here is just out of control. So. I'm going to go ahead, start building out my node tree. First node is going to be reserved for highlights. The second one, I'm going to pull it down and this is going to be the RE LUT. We're going to do a technical LUT conversion. So we're going to take our log image and turn it into Rec. 709. Then I'm going to create another node and this is where the black and white is going to happen. And then we're going to create a layer mixer and this one is going to be our yellow. Okay. So before I go any further, this is not what I meant to do. I'm not sure what happened. And then this is going to be our yellow. So let's move back to frame 13 and uh, let's just get going. So I'm going to come in here, go under LUTs, RE, and then this is the LUT provided by RE. So you can do a proper conversion. Like, look at nothing is blown out. Everything is looking perfect. So now we're basically at the natural state. This is what it looked like when it was shot through a camera. Okay. So this is the first step that we're going to do. And now what I want to do is I want to go in here and I want to punch in on this yellow and I want to qualify it. So I'm going to go under my qualifier and I'm just going to go ahead, select this. I'm going to hit shift H so we can see what I'm we're selecting and let's just uh, make it a little bit better. So I'm going to finesse it a little bit. I just want to grab the yellow, nothing else. So let's clean it up. And if we look at what we're doing right now, there's still a lot of areas that are being selected. So that's totally okay because when we're, you're going to be working on a commercial or a music video, anything like that, you're going to be rotoing this area when you work on this footage. Okay. So this is totally 
normal. And uh, when you talk about big production movies, they have the luxury to create their set design and do the prep work to make sure that they can avoid similar colors as much as possible. So it's a lot easier. But in this case, this is what we're going to be doing. Okay. Another thing that I want to do is I want to go back into my key and I want to denoise it a little bit. I just want to add a little bit of denoise. And uh, I don't necessarily have to uh, add blur. So we're good on that. Let's go back into our key and I'm going to go ahead and track it. Okay. So we're going to track it backwards. And uh, we're going to go back to this point and we're going to track it forwards and everything is looking good. And now I'm just going to come out of uh, my highlight mode. And now this is tracked. So what does that mean? What that means is that now I can go in this black and white node. I can go under here and just click on monochrome. Boom. So we're basically there. All we have to do is just bring in the contrast, get that Sin City look DNA and we're done and done. So, so far, this is where we started. This is where we ended up. And that's what we have. And everything is tracked here. So that's not moving. It's latching on. So we're good on that front. So I'm going to go ahead, create a new node. I'm going to call this node contrast. And what I want to do is I want to use contrast and pivot here. Okay. And I really want to push it because if we remember the Sin City look, it was pushed quite a bit. Okay. So I'm going to keep it somewhere around here, maybe pull it back somewhere around here. And now if we do before and after it is really pushed, the whites are looking really good. The blacks are looking really good. I mean, we're bringing in that Sin City personality. So uh, maybe dial it back a little bit, something like that. I'm going to park it right here. I'm going to create a new layer. This layer I'm going to call sharpen. Okay. And two things are going to happen in this layer. I'm going to go under my radius and I'm going to add a little bit of sharpening. So I'm going to just bring it down to around 47 ish, because that's one thing that you need to understand that what makes the Sin City look is not just black and white and not just that pushed contrast look, but it's a lot of like gritty feeling comes from sharpening and a lot of detail, like really rich, detailed image. So always go too far, obviously, and but then, you know, dial it back. Like, don't go too crazy. So in this case, I'm going to go to 46. Then the next thing that I want to do is I want to take my mid-tone detail. I want to crank it to like 75-ish, okay? Like, I'm really going to push it. And look what it does to all the texture. Like, look at right here. What's happening? This is what's creating that Sin City effect where it's just really in your face everything just kind of pops out of the screen. So you can go pretty, pretty far with that. Maybe we can bring it back to like 50 ish. If you're just getting too uncomfortable to like what it's doing to so keep it somewhere around here, I'm going to create another layer. And this one I'm going to call texture pop. It's a technique that you guys haven't seen me used. And uh, let's go ahead and pop it open. And it's texture pop. Just type it in and then drop in that OFX. And then once you drop it on, nothing happens, right? But what I want to do is I want to punch in a little bit in this area and then take you through these sliders right here. And you're going to start to see like what it actually does. I'm going to go under the detail tab and I'm going to start cranking it. And you can see that it's making a pretty big difference. So before and now after, and I'm going to park it somewhere around here. And uh, if we zoom back out and we do on and off, you can see how much of a difference it's making. Like, look at the detail here. Look at the detail on his pants, like right here. Look at the details right here in the highlights all the way through, okay? Even on his face too. Now, we can move this frame a little bit over and we can hold it right here and see all this detail, like this grunge that it's adding, the, the grit that it's adding to the frame. That is very, very important, okay? So this is the basic use of it. Obviously, you can open up the tonal range and then mess around with it on, you know, shadows, mid-tones, and highlights level. But for now, I'm going to leave it just like that because we're seeing the, the letters are popping, the carbon fiber texture we can uh, start to see. Like, look at that right here. It's a big difference, okay? We are really adding that Sin City character. 
it's really coming together. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna call this node a Sensity node. This is where we're gonna bring in the Sensity image and start really dialing in those certain things. Because if you guys remember correctly, remember how we had the red, green, and then the blue? Not to mention that how much we can see here, this is not what's happening here. It's like the blacks are just almost crushed. I mean, look at this, remember that contrast? So we're gonna create all of that, okay? So we're gonna start off by creating that contrast. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my lift and I'm gonna start crushing it. I'm really going to pull it down to something like this. And right now you're gonna say, dude, you clipped your shadows, which I did. So in order to fix that, but in terms of the contrast, um, getting really close. So this is before, this is after. I mean, just look at that. So in terms of the contrast, it's looking really good. It's just that now I'm clipping right here, which is not good. So how do we fix that? This is how we're going to fix it. I'm going to go under my low soft in my custom contrast. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to start pulling it up and just look what happens at the bottom. Just keep your eyes right here. I'm going to bring it up just enough, just right here. Now nothing is clipping. Yet we got that kind of contrast going on. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take my lift and pull it down a little bit more. Keep it somewhere around here. And if I do before and after, I'm even going to take my low soft and pull it down a little bit more. And if we do before and after, we're making a big difference. Okay, so this is the building blocks to getting that Sensity look. Now, the thing that's really going to tie it all in is going to be the red, green, and blue channels on the high end that we have to control. So I'm going to go in and uh, we're just going to go into our printer lights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red gain and I'm going to raise it up. And I'm going to take my blue gain and I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take my green and bring it down. Just a little bit, I'm gonna take my red and I'm gonna crank it. And now let's do back and forth. And then one thing that I gotta do is I gotta go into my highlights. We never really see we're clipping on top now. So I'm gonna go in here, Shift H, so I can see what I'm selecting. And I'm gonna go ahead and just select my highlights. Maybe something like that. I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna take my gamma, I'm gonna pull it down. I'm gonna take my gain and I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit, something like that. And now if I go before and after, what do we need to do? We need to pull our blue down. I'm gonna go into my Sin City node. I'm gonna take my blue gain and I'm gonna bring it down. Okay, so now where we are. I'm gonna bring it down even more. I'm gonna take my green and bring it down. I'm gonna take my blue and keep bringing it down. And now, one thing that I want to do is I want to go in this mode and pop it next to each other and see how close we actually are. So if I turn the Sin City node on and off, you can see the difference that we're making. Okay. Another thing that we can do is that kind of thing. So we can see how close we're actually getting. I think we're getting pretty close. We still need to add way more red, I feel like. But you know, I got to see this white to that white. That's what's really going on. So one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my highlights right here and I'm going to pull them down, something like that. So that right there is really putting us there uh, where we need to be. I'm going to go back to my node number nine. I'm going to take my red and I'm going to pop it a little bit more. I'm going to take my blue and make it dingy a little more and then take my red up a little more. So somewhere around here, now if I look at this to this, we can see we are right there. This to this, we're there. If I do before, I mean, just look at that to like when I do after, we're exactly there. So now one more thing that we can do and should do is just adding a little bit more pop into our yellow. Okay, so that would be the last step. I'm going to just take it and crank it to like 80-ish and uh, maybe bring it down to like 75-ish, that's fine. But if I just do before and after now, um, or if I just kill it all the way, the saturation, and then bring it back, it makes a massive difference. And this is where we're gonna lock it in. 
before we do our look breakdown, let's just check one more thing, which is how is this key holding up? So if I bring it down here, we obviously see that it breaks quite a bit. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to go back in here and uh, I'm going to go back into my key. I'm going to punch in so we can get pretty close. And uh, what we really need to do is just open it up a little bit. So if I just open it up like that, um, something like that, and hold it somewhere around here, move it around. So this is good. And then go under saturation and just pull that back a little bit. And uh, what else? This pretty much just does it. Okay, so let's take it up and watch the whole thing like that and see how well it holds up. And uh, in here, what are we missing? Let's do a luminance and open it up a little bit there. And now if I just do, okay. All right, it holds up all the way. I'm gonna come back out. I'm gonna punch out. And if we just do, all the way through like now it is really really locking in how it should it looks great it looks great now we got to stay true to our yellow and i think it's more of a gold than this kind of yellow so one thing that i can do is i can just go and swing my hue a little bit and i can bring it back to that gold this kind of thing instead of like where it was before so i can just bring that back a little bit, not too much, something like that. Uh, even like I would keep it around 40, somewhere around here. Now that is pretty true to our actual logo, what it should look like. And we're gonna just park it right here. So once again, guys, um, let's go back and look at our image right here. So this is what we wanted to match. This is what we created and just look at it. If I just go all the way back to where we started to like where we ended up. Okay. And then if we go to our node number nine and kill it, like the Sin City node made all the difference. Okay. I mean, this in itself is a pretty cool look, but it doesn't have a personality. It's lacking personality. And then as soon as I add the Sin City look, I mean, come on, just look at that. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this. Let's kill all our nodes and start from the top. So this time I went with the technical LUT, RE LUT. So that's a proper conversion from log to rec 709. Then we went ahead and selected our yellow, tracked it, uh, added the black and white effect, which is in our RGB mixer, um, and then did tons of contrast to just bring in that Sin City character, sharpening to uh, dirty up our image a little bit. And then I showed you a brand new technique, Texture Pop, and that really helped bring in that DNA from movies like Sin City and just make everything really gritty. And finally, we added the Sin City node that just made all the difference in the world. And then the highlight one was extremely important because just look at this area right here. Look at this right there. Look at that right there. And not to mention how close it brought us because without it, like look at this to that. And uh, if I were to get rid of this node, like there's a big difference. And then after that, it just brought everything together. Let's check out the final look in full screen. So hopefully that was fun. And like I mentioned, I mean, it's not something you're gonna be using all the time, but definitely good to know how to do it um, if the job requires to create something similar to this. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. And uh, do not forget to watch the one hour long free training. Literally, I'm telling you, it's gonna transform your color grading career. It's gonna take you from not knowing anything about Resolve to blowing the F up. So check that out. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video.